Hello again. So uh, on my earlier video, I, I uh, talked about early, mid, and late season clothing that I use as far as the gear. And now I, would, I thought I would talk about just the actual bow hunting gear that I use. Uh, a lot of this can be used, of course, for rifle hunting, but I bow hunt uh, far more than I rifle hunt. So I'm going to talk about the gear in terms of bow hunting, but just realize anything I'm talking about for the most part can be applied to a rifle hunter that does not bow hunt. So um, I'll talk about my backpacks, but I won't go into detail because I've already done also another video on my channel, uh, Bow Hunting Junkie, regarding the backpacks and the reviews. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about that, but I use both the Badlands uh, Sacrifice LS and I use the Tenzine TZ2220, both fantastic backpacks for bow hunting and rifle hunting, but uh, that's what I use as far as my actual uh, backpacks so when I'm bow hunting. Before the season opens, I'll go into the woods with a, just a simple, small Reinhardt target. It's great for a bow hunter because it goes right in the backpack. You can uh, hike it in, have a whole day of shooting out in the woods as opposed to hiking in with a 3D target, getting a lot of reps, and fits perfectly into your backpack and has this nice rope for carrying. Weighs not very much and uh, just kind of can keep you sharp if you want to actually get some reps out in the woods as opposed to shooting in a range or in your backyard. So small Reinhardt target is a must. Uh, my butt has got to be comfortable when I'm hunting, otherwise I'm not going to be very happy. This extreme uh, outdoor product I've had for a couple of years straps right onto the back of the backpack, very thick, and I can sit on this all day long and I have no problems. Has these nice uh, ties in the back that can go right into your tree stand seat. Um, or whatever. If I'm using a climber, I'm obviously not going to use this. This would be for in a ground blind or in a tree stand that just has a plain metal seat. So lightweight, definitely worth carrying in with right around your backpack. This is kind of one that a lot of people don't have. It's a little heavy and I'm not going to take it out. It's just a, uh, a tripod chair. So it comes out, folds, just a triangle camouflage seat. But uh, to hike into a ground blind to sit all day, it's definitely worth it because it's very, very comfortable. Um, and then you actually have a seat on the ground to use. So uh, I bring this in anytime I'm not hunting in my climber or in my tree stand. Without going into a lot of detail, um, I use muddy uh, filming, you know, arm. It goes onto the tree and it's an arm that holds your camera so you can sit there and film. Uh, lots of components to this and that's many videos unto themselves. But anyway, that's what I use when I want to film hunts. The muddy arm for my harness I use a gorilla and uh, just a good safety harness you know I've had for, for many years and very durable lightweight uh, once again it's gorilla gear and that's what I use when I'm up in a, a tree whether it's permanent tree stand or in my climber and the climber I use is the summit Lots of different brands. Summit's a very good brand. Lightweight, uh, has nice, nice uh, shoulder pads and, and straps to carry it in. And uh, I might do a video later on of actually going into the woods and climbing up a tree with the Summit, just explaining how to do that, advantages, etc., etc. But that's just a really good climber to have. As a bow hunter, it allows you the freedom to go into a new area and explore, go in, get out. So that's what I use for my climber. Um, thermos. If I'm going to be out in a cold blind or up in a tree and mid to late season freezing, I have to have my coffee and it's worth the extra weight. So I always bring in a thermos full of coffee when it's cold. Um, if I'm out west and I'm doing like a, a one night, two night, three night hunt, I have a mere... Uh, tent it's basically just a one person but this is a great lightweight tent if you're bow hunting or rifle hunting and you're actually hiking into an area uh, by yourself solo or with another hunter and you're just going to hunt for a, a day or two or three that's about as much as you'd want to use this for it's very small lightweight but that's just essentially my my bow hunting go-to tent when i'm out west another little small uh triangular seat my son uses this it's great to fold out once again, if you're in a ground blind, you set it up in two seconds. Now you have a seat for your day. You can easily put 
the cushion once this is unfolded on top of that and now you're very comfortable. So even though I could use this, this is more for someone a little smaller and doesn't weigh anything. So worth packing in to, if you're hunting from the ground, especially if you have kids. Um, this is a shooting stick. Uh, obviously that's not for bow hunting, but for rifle hunting, it's, I pack this in. Uh, it's fantastic. These legs come down. You can rest your gun and, uh, or just have it as, as a single stick that you hold and it turns. So for rifle hunting, this is a, a must that I always bring with me, whether I'm uh, using Missouri in the Midwest or if I'm out in Colorado elk hunting. As far as in my kind of go-to grab bag, I'll just kind of go over a few things for bow hunting. I always have paracord. It's great for a lot of different reasons. Just uh, once you kill the deer, helping to hang it up. Um, to wrap around a tree to mark the last you know blood spot that you saw that's just some lightweight paracord binoculars these are bushnell bone collector not expensive but just a really good uh binocular that and i don't use binoculars a lot especially in new york where i hunt but in the midwest and out west i definitely use them for rifle or for bow hunting uh pins pins uh, <clears throat> or uh Bright eyes, which you put in the trees to mark your trails in, trails out of a new area or anything out in the woods. I use those. Always have a couple face paints. Um, Under Armour, safe control. Uh, I'm a big believer in the wind as your number one kind of scent control, but I do use products, shampoos, the soaps, these, the whole thing. Um, I bring these in in my backpack so I can actually reapply to my armpit several times during a hunt because a lot of your scent comes from there. So that's something that's easy to just pack in your backpack. Uh, processing kit. Uh, the processing kit I'll usually just leave in my car, but once a deer is down, it's fantastic. It weighs nothing and you can process an entire deer, and elk, anything with this really compact. Um, I have put, brought my backpack and hiked it in to hunt, but normally this will just stay in the car until an animal is down and then I'll go and get the processing kit. Uh, tool for the bow. This will pretty much tighten up anything that is loose on my compound bow. Well, just a quick fix that always is in my backpack when I'm bow hunting. Lots of trash bags. I mean, I have processing gloves, an extra charging device to charge your your cell phone when you're out and about. We have uh, these Kinetrek, you know, these are uh, basically just, uh, yeah, these are, these are fairly new. But the Kinetrek, of course, you put these around your calf and around your lower leg. And I really want to use these out west in Colorado. I don't really use these in New York when I'm hunting, but it helps if there's snow or a lot of brush, it just kind of keeps your pants tight and it keeps your, your boots dry and your lower pant leg dry to keep from water getting into your boot. So the Gators, Kinetrek, those are fantastic. Uh, extra release, this is a True Fire release. That's the brand that I use. I always have one in my backpack along with one attached to my actual bow itself. You do not want to get in the woods and not have a release. This is a cool thing. This is, of course, you know, you attach it to your bow in your backpack when you're up in your stand. You just kind of crank it up and just pull everything up in that way. It's very small and compact. Uh, I've had this for years. I love it. It's something that's just makes get your backpack and your bow up in the stand a little easier. Lots of flashlights, just of all sizes. Uh, Quantum is a great brand. This thing is super powerful. That's the one I use most of the time, um, especially on the blood trail. It's just really expands or narrows very, very well. Uh, lots of headlamps. Tetzel's kind of my, my uh, go-to that I have. I have uh, lots of marker tape for marking the trees, the area once you actually shoot an animal to mark where you find the first blood drop or where your arrow is. So lots of orange tape I carry. My rangefinder, I use a Nikon, which is for, for bow or for rifle, but this is essentially what I use when I'm bow hunting because it's just a really good range finder. And let's see what else here. Tripod arm for any kind of filming you want to do. I have lots of little plastic bags. I'm always carrying like my first aid kit or batteries, aspirin, anything like that. Your ID if it's raining to keep it dry. 
Game bags, always have game bags on hand. Lots of little first aid kits that I have of all different sizes, depending on how long I'm gonna be out in the woods. Lots of knives. Uh, I have a buck. I have a couple of Gerber, which I love. Let's see. Lots of uh, wind detectors. You can never have too many of those. I usually have one in every pocket. Um, if you're hunting the wind as a bow hunter, wind detectors are fantastic. You should be almost spraying them consistently, nonstop, just to determine where the wind might be shifting or changing on you. Another wind detector. Let's see. More rope, more face paint, nice so little air pump if you know if you have cameras or you're filming just to get debris or dust out of your, your lenses and all that. Uh, dry food bag, which is really once again do something more if I was out west camping out to put food supplies. Uh, you could put game in this to carry out if you needed to. Uh, Scorpion uh, Venom Bowstring Wax. Um, I have another YouTube episode all about waxing your bow where I talk about bow wax and using this, but that's my go-to uh, brand for that. Lots of pins. More flashlights, more knives. And everything else down below is mostly for rifle. Actually, these are, these are great. These are simply just hooks. And I usually bring in three of these in my backpack. And you know, these of course you can put into the tree at different levels. Now you have hooks for your backpack, your uh, quiver, uh, any clothes you want to hang. So I usually, hang, these are for bow hunting, this is a must, these little hooks. I usually bring about three of those into the woods with me. A whistle, in case you know you get lost from your partner late at night, if you, you know, you're shed hunting and trying to get your dog back. And that's pretty much it. Everything else in here is kind of more for rifle, but that's just kind of some general stuff for bow hunting. Uh, doesn't matter the brand, it's whatever works for you, but that's just some stuff that I take into the woods. Everything from my climber to my thermos to you name it. Um, with bow hunting, you can get very, very specific with your gear. You can become definitely a nerd with like, you know, you can gear out with, with bow hunting stuff pretty quickly. So this is what I use and uh, if you like my content, please subscribe. This is Eric Lasseter, Bow Hunting Junkie. I hope everyone has a great day out there, and we will see you soon.